Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinterestinglife.com We've got a few rather interesting notebooks on the table here and I thought we would have a head to head over the sort of, I'm not sure the specific words you'd use but these are sort of notebooks that tie into a sort of record keeping app, augmented notebooks I like to call them personally um, and obviously here we have got a Moleskine and Evernote notebook which obviously ties very specifically to uh, Evernote, the app for record keeping and things like that. And similarly, we've got a Leuchtturm 1917 and White Lines team up notebook here, which not only can uh, automatically have pages photographed and sent to Evernote, but also to Dropbox, which is a similar sort of storage record keeping access anywhere app, and also to email. So those are the basic features of these. Uh, basically notebooks that you can take a picture of through the miracle of a phone app and then have it pop up in an app that in theory you can access from anywhere. So we'll dive in and have a very brief look at these books first. I don't want to dwell too much on the books themselves rather than show you how it all works. So the Evernote Moleskin, I really do like this one because of its nice little green and black sort of minimalist look. Um, I don't know what it is about the Evernote green. Um, as you've seen my bike or various items that I've owned, green is a big theme in my life. Uh, I don't know if you can see the close-up sort of imprinted designs, just all sorts of things. The Evernote logo and then like pens and notepaper, laptops, scissors, just the sort of general desktop sort of items, I suppose. Uh, this one that I've got here is a grid paper, but as you'll see, it also comes with this series of stickers. Now, basically, the Evernote app can be set up so that it can recognise if there's one of these stickers on a page and then automatically categorise that page when you take a photo of it to go into this category or that category. So they have like their own suggested ones, but as you can see here, I've got current writing, to-dos, YouTube, Tilly, important reminders and things to remember. So you can set up the tags and the category or notebook that you want your pages filed in. And if we just have a quick look, I've already chosen a page to use this as the demo. And basically on here, you've got your nice, simple, straightforward sticker just at the top there. And this is just a poem I wrote about eight months ago or so. So because this is an Evernote notebook, we use the Evernote app itself to so have a look. I'll just pop this up because it's been put in addresses and all sorts onto the notes tagged by location. So I don't want to show the world those. But you literally just go to the camera, uh, you can select photo, post-it note, document, business card or whatever sort of system and setup that you'd like. If I just check that we're all here. So, it should be a nice simple thing hopefully. As you can see it's just that it's awkward to try and do this to show to a camera. But for argument's sake, that'll do us. Doesn't have to be perfect, you get the general gist. You can see you've got the picture there and it's just having a look and checking what's what, at which point we can tick. And now, if I have ourselves a look, just as expected, it's picked up the uh, sticker in the top corner of the page and it is now categorised as the current writing category. So that's a nice simple thing, just take a picture, there it goes. What it doesn't do is take out any of the background information and background sort of noise of the page, whether that's the background lines in here, like the grid or whatever type of paper you're writing on. Um, but it is a nice feature to have these and you have the pink arrows that some people might recognise from the Skitch app, uh, which you can use to highlight things. And it's generally quite a nice little package. Uh, it also comes with three months free Evernote premium subscription for anybody who uses it an awful lot. But, but, I've done that one first because white lines, oh my goodness me. I've had a white lines notebook similar to uh, this one that I've had out on the boat that I live on uh, for a good few months now. And I absolutely, have, I think there's about seven sheets left of it unused because I just think the White Lines app is fantastic. And I just wanted to show you, because first of all, this one here, we've got the um, Leuchtturm 1917 and White Lines books, these are, rather than just the White Lines ones. Um, 
this is the, uh, I think, academic pad, it's called, something like that. So it's the sort of easy to tear pages. And it's not the sort of standard moleskin or like term style notebook with your little uh, cloth bookmark and that. But I just wanted to show you that these are, you are able to get these with normal sort of lined paper with the white line style lines and everything that you would expect. They also come with what I think is one of the things that makes like term my notebook of choice for proper big notebooks like this. They have these little um, archive stickers so you can write what's in and stick on the covers what's in these books and also the spine ones which I've shown you time and time again like for example I have got my uh, little Narrowboat Diaries book and it's just having the little proper spine labelled up so you can see exactly what's what when they're all on the shelf. Just a fantastic little touch that. So if we have ourselves a look inside this notebook I'll just check we're all still filming and in shot. Perfect. <laughs> I'm trying to go through this pretty quickly because I don't want to bore you with endless notebook talk. So the basic white lines idea here is, and I've just noticed that I haven't filled it in in its entirety, um, you can see here that the pages have these little tags at each side. This is a dot grid notebook, so it's just got very faint little uh, dots. And the details, like the lines, the dots, etc., are all white on a, a very light grey background which instantly takes away all like the background lines and things like that just in general when you're writing on it but it leads to an excellent little uh, piece of technology and magic when it comes to the actual uh, app side of things so as you can see here I've written hello YouTube thanks for watching check out all my other notebook videos Oh wow, that's a great little plug that I've managed to squeeze in there. Um, yeah, check out all my other notebook videos because there's, goodness knows how many of them, but 100,000 views just on my notebooks alone, which is incredible, so thank you for that. Um, so I've written that, and also at the very bottom here, there's little boxes. Uh, one for Dropbox, one for Evernote, and one for email. So you can set the White Lines app to automatically send it to these various services. We're going to use Evernote for argument's sake and we do something as simple as cross out the Evernote box. So now when we get the app up, which is nice and simple, and I really do like this, it's just fantastic when it comes to an app. It doesn't, you don't even have to take the photo. That's the, uh, that's the best part. So it's basically going to look, see the page, see these little uh, reference points on the corner, take a picture of the page, figure out if it's at an angle and all that sort of stuff. Then, if I can get that in shot, you can see how instantly that has just worked. And that's taken the picture, even at the angle, and already basically said, right, we've got this sorted, we know what you're doing here. And it's then from that, even in these per un imperfect light conditions, Figured it out, said what's what, it's, you can see it's already marked that this is being sent to Evernote. And I just press continue there, and that's now sending to Evernote. But, but, it's not over yet. When we get to Evernote, i just pop that down there. You can see that is, that is how quickly all this sort of stuff works. So I will open up Evernote. This is a four-year-old model of the iPhone, so... This isn't like the super speedy, snappy ex experience you could imagine from, I don't know, your super iPhone 5Ss and all that sort of stuff. I'm not that flash. <laughs> My apologies for the cut in the video here, but this is the fourth time that I'm recording this because every time I try and do it, I keep getting a Twitter no notification popping up or a Facebook thing popping up. So anyway, uh, apologies if it's been a little bit out of focus or hard to see for the first part of the video. But I thought I'd sh fetch this up to show you properly as we just let this um, download properly there. Now you can see the amazing way that suddenly it's on a perfectly white background and there's absolutely no sign of anything in the back. So if that, well in this case it was a dot grid thing and as you can see this looks like it's just straight up white and black, nothing other than ink on paper. But I can assure you that using the actual lined paper and all the rest of it, it works this well on everything. And it's got to be said, this is just one of the reasons. I love like term 1917 notebooks. I really, really do. 
And the fact that this white line stuff, which I was also using an awful lot and absolutely, well, as you can see, I can't praise it enough. But once I'd realised, hang on, like him and white lines are making notebooks together. It's just, it is the perfect, perfect combination. So on that note, I'm going to wrap things up and say that the winner in my book, and the winner that is my book, is definitely the Like Tim and White Lines notebooks. The Evernote and Moleskin uh, team up is fine for what it is, but it's just the like it's just the White Lines app and the fact that, well, as demonstrated with these, I just love Like Tim 1917 notebooks. And if I fetch the camera up here and give you a general quick glance at the rest of the collection, or some of the rest of the collection. My goodness me, check out my other videos if you like notebooks, because you'll find pretty much everything here documented and looked in, and all the writing and various bits I've done. So I'll say thanks for watching, check out my other videos, check out all my Narrowboat Life videos too, subscribe, like the Facebook page, and until the next time, have a fantastic day. I hope to see you back here very soon. Farewell.